Disturbing things found on Google Maps. I'm sure we're all aware of Google Maps and Google Earth, and I'm sure we've all looked up our own addresses out of curiosity. Of course. But many strange things can be found on these websites. Anything from people wearing pigeon masks, strange hacks, <laughs> to straight up disturbing locations. Today, uh? we will be taking a look at disturbing things found on Google Maps. By the way, can you guys follow me on Instagram at my name is Tub and subscribe to my personal channel named Birdie? All right, enough of that. Let's get straight into the video. Uh, okay, it. wait, guys. I actually want to tell you something really quick, and that's that we're going to be doing a Discord dating show. Yes, that's how desperate I am. To f <laughs> yes, that's how desperate I am. Sometime in though. Bring me the mats, bro. So happy because we hit 400 in the mats. I think Make sure bro. Four Give me the list. mops. Yeah, let's get started with the video. Creepy Ghost Girl, Huntsville, Texas. In 2018, people were freaking out due to a ghost girl in Huntsville, Texas being caught looking at the camera behind a tree. It's honestly pretty creepy, as the girl seems to have no color, just a gray ghost. And behind that- Yo, that could just be a pale ass girl though, bro. I've seen them. It's honestly pretty creepy, as the girl seems to have no color, just a gray ghost. And behind that, we can see a figure with a dark cloak. As the internet was freaking out, a comment was posted by John Wells onto the original video, which now has 700,000 views. It reads, ha 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 ha, that's my daughter. She was hiding while I shot the panoramic photo using Google Street View app. If you swing <laughs> around 180 degrees from where she is, you can see an actual paranormal investigator setting up his equipment while his wife leaves through a magazine. Though some hey, thought- Hey, hey, yo, 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 your daughter needs a, Hey, your daughter needs to go outside a little bit, bro. <laughs> this is the end of the mystery. Others were still <laughs> skeptical. I'll read this comment by Bloody Pulp 88 So what you're telling me is your daughter just happens to be peeking around the corner with a very pale face, somewhat transparent. I think you just came on here to steal the comment section. I don't think that's your daughter. Yes, maybe you were here investigating at the time, but looking at that grayish slash transparent face, that could not have been your daughter. Plus, it's the typical peek around the corner like many spirits do. And you know what? It sounds kind of weird when you're telling someone, hey, that's not your daughter. Like, it, it's kind of weird. But I kind of have to agree with this person on this one. I really like this comment by a person named Kirill25. And they say, why girl gray? <laughs> and yeah, I have to agree with the commenters. I am questioning. No, the thing is, though, it's not even being mean. Like, bro, she genuinely is gray. Like, she, that, that's like, she's genuinely gray, bro. That's gray. She's blending into the tree. The authenticity of this John Wells person as well. He provides no actual proof that this is his daughter. The closest thing I could find to evidence was on his channel and in his first video. You can see the license plate and sticker on the car in front of him is from Texas. So it, yeah, the pit, it could be washed out, but... Is Ghost Girl actually a ghost or just an innocent girl that, that posed for a picture for her dad and then he posted on the Google Street View app, which I... Oh, wait, yeah, that just makes sense. Trees aren't normally this gray, are they? Wait. Wait, chat, can trees be? Ah, oh, she's got the same tan I do. <laughs> that, that posed for a picture for her dad, and then he posted on the Pine Google tree, Street View app, which I didn't even know was a thing. I didn't know you could post your own stuff on Google Maps. I guess we'll never yeah, truly I know. Yeah, I didn't but know that. Seriously, the girl is gray. She's straight up gray, so hey, we'll leave it at that. We got a nice gray girl somewhere behind a tree. Pigeon people, Tokyo, Japan. Oh yeah, I want to let you guys know all the coordinates will be linked down in the description. All right, so uh, if you guys want to check out all of these, go down in the description. Not yet. Give me the watch time. That is all I ask, and a like. All right. While I was doing my research, not everyone provided coordinates. They were just like, "Oh yeah, it's it, it exists," and I'm like, "Bro, link it, link it." But I got you guys. It's linked all in a Google document. So check it out after the video. Okay. Okay. So here's one that I can't really provide much context for. Pigeon people in Japan. In a certain spot in Tokyo, Japan, these people can be found just. <laughs> looking at the camera kind of creepy <laughs> if you go behind them well they just they, they look at you no matter how far away from them you travel they're bro, always looking what? at the camera it's clear that this yo do you know what's the weirdest thing bro imagine being one of the people walking by them like in my <laughs> what? always looking at the camera it's clear that this is an innocent prank not some sort of like cult or anything but the people in the masks could be students from a nearby art school musashino art university funny enough the same prank can be found ah! 90 miles away in a restaurant i don't know either but honestly it's pretty funny and it's an innocent prank What's that doesn't going hurt on? anyone i give it a nice 10 out of 10. i also want to say all my sources will be linked down in the description i'm I sorry i forgot you. to say at the beginning yeah all my sources like always will be linked down in the description below blood lake 
Baghdad, Iraq. Okay, so with the research I did, there is no solid answer. Every website or YouTube video that I visited has one of three different responses. Theory one, which is the most popular. This is real human blood from the Iraq war from people that were killed. Uh, this would be gallons and gallons of blood. I mean, yeah, it's no possible, way. but it's also a haunting thought considering that the lake is half a mile long and I don't even know how deep it is. So let's head on to theory number two. Theory number two is a claim that butchers would cut their animals there and let their blood drain out of their bodies, though the blood would be brown at this point so i don't really know we could trust that one but theory number three this theory states that the color is like this because of chemical pollution i have no explanation as to how chemicals can turn clear yo how is it that red i even struggle to get that kind of red on photoshop color picker how is it that red or whatever color the lake was before water into red bright What's red algae? it's probably theory one if i'm being honest it's probably theory one chernobyl ukraine What's chernobyl algae? is the name of a city situated in northern ukraine near the border with belarus chernobyl was largely abandoned following the disaster at chernobyl nuclear power plant located nine miles away ukraine was part of the ussr on april 26 1986 when the disaster occurred an explosion and fire released large quantities of radioactive contamination into the atmosphere which spread over much of western ussr and europe it is considered the worst nuclear power plant accident in history almost everyone there evacuated due to high levels of radioactive contamination. To this day, more than 7,000 people still live and work around this contaminated area, and oh a much my. smaller number have returned to the surrounding villages despite the risks. Though people still live there, it looks like a ghost town, a ghost town which we can visit right on Google Maps. My favorite part, and probably everyone's favorite part, is the Ferris wheel. It just looks so... That's like a wallpaper. That looks, I think it would be pretty fun to visit Chernobyl for a video. You know, explain all the facts, everything that happened, interview some people. So maybe one day we can make that a video. That would be really fun whenever I'm a bigger channel, obviously. Blurred Out House, Cleveland, Ohio. So if you go to this location in Google Maps, there's an entire house that is just blurred. I mean, we've Why? seen faces be blurred on Google Maps, but I had never seen an entire house be blurred. But why well that house has a horrible backstory to it 2208 seymour avenue was home to a man called ariel castro this man held three females captive amanda berry gina de jesus and michelle knight for over a decade inside authorities discovered tape and chains which were used to restrain the women and this is a really disturbing part of the story but ariel had a child with amanda berry and forced the other two women to deliver the baby according to reports uh the neighbors said the property was usually quiet although Quote, sometimes you would hear music, but I would never see the man come out or hear any noises. It's just like he was there, but not there. Upon realizing this... Bro, that's so messed up, man. And imagine actually being like a next door neighbor to that. Like, you don't know what's going on, but then you find out what's going on. Google Maps took action and blurred the entire house. I mean, I don't know the reasoning for blurring the entire house. Like, I get horrible stuff happened there, but whole building blurred out. Giant Pink Bunny. Cuneo, Italy. This is a more popular one on the list, a very bizarre one. You guys may have seen this image floating around at some point while being on the internet of a giant pink bunny in the middle of a field. Photoshopped? No, it's very real. The 200 feet long and 20 feet high bunny, also known as Hayes, was placed on the hill in 2005 by art collective Gelatin from Vienna. Why? Did I say that right? Or is it Gelatin? Something like, <laughs> something like that. Hayes looks as if they <coughs> fell from the sky with their heart, liver, and intestines spilled on the side. According to Gelatin, okay, I'm gonna say Gelatin. <laughs> According to Gelatin, the sculpture is supposed to make visitors feel like they're Lilliputans. Oh my God, what are these words? From the famous Gulliver's Travels. And it's an installation unlike any other. It's knitted. It took five years for Gelatine to finish knitting the soft and waterproof sculpture. Just yo, 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 that is a lot of time to invest into this. What's the what's the exact point of it though? Is it so like when aliens come down to this planet they they, they don't attack because they see a big bunny? Is that why? like a regular stuffed toy visitors can play with haze you can also climb on top of it and simply relax while enjoying the views of the mountain but like all good things in life haze began to rot visiting haze now all uh -oh. he sees is his outline so yeah he definitely uh or they they definitely decomposed 
to death. <laughs> Body being dragged to Lake Almir, Netherlands. Another extremely popular one is this boardwalk with what seems to be blood and oh, people dragging something. A body, perhaps? What the image actually appears to show is a couple accompanied by a dark brown dog, perhaps a chocolate Labrador. And the supposed trail of blood is simply red stained wood that has taken on a darker appearance due to being wet, possibly because the dog jumped into the surrounding water and then dripped onto the wood. One of the owners told the son that he instantly recognized the image and laughs at the fact that his dog is now famous. That wood really looks red, though. That, that looks like yeah, blood, that bro. Actually But yeah, like apparently it's uh, just stained wood that became red because the water, I mean, because the dog was jumping into the water and stuff. Wait, Cyborg, actually, bro, the house that you grew up in is blurred out as well. You wonder if something happened there after we left. Wait, what? Bro, you might want to look into it. Like that. Yeah. That'd be weird. Creepy face, Ithaca, New York. This is gonna be a little quick one because there's not really much I can explain. It's just this creepy face right here. You can see the face shape, I guess, and you can see the two big black eyes. That and, could be good uh, feet, like a mask, there's right? There's no way that's a ghost, dude. That, that has to be like, there's just shapes that came together. I, I don't believe that oh, that wait, is a ghost. You know, it could be, it could be. I believe in ghosts. Do you guys believe in ghosts? Because I, I do believe in ghosts. I believe in aliens. I believe in all of that stuff. I would love to make a video on aliens soon. I love aliens so much. Yeah, there's not really much to say. It's under a bridge. I'm an alien. Is that a beer? Bruh. Is that monster drinking beer? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's move on to the next one. Thalassophobia, Scotland. So Google Maps has this option called Underwater Earth, where you can see parts of the ocean in a 360 view. For the most part, it's oh, beautiful, sick. but they're all mainly just one screenshot. You can't move forward or backwards. But someone found an odd location where you're placed in what seems to be hell. I mean, it's, it's underwater, but it looks like hell. Going three steps forward, you can see that the cameraman was kind of stranded. Or maybe they just threw a device into the water. I hey, 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 yo, I bet the cameraman drowned, mate. Is the cameraman still alive? Are they? <laughs> You're placed Are they alive? in what seems to be hell. I mean, it's it's underwater, but it looks like hell. Going three steps forward, you can see that the cameraman was kind of stranded. Or maybe they just threw a device into the water. I don't know. The fear of deep waters is called thalassophobia. And I don't even think you need to have this phobia in order to be uncomfortable with this entire scenario. Trust me, when you guys click the link down in the description and go visit for yourself, this is... This, I think this is the one that scared me the most. And it's so funny because if you compare this to like their stock underwater earth places, they're so beautiful. They're so pretty. Nah, he but drowned, bro. Like, whatever, let's move on. Well, the photos got uploaded. It could have been, it could have been like a live feed where like it automatically, like when you take a photo, it goes straight to the server or whatever. I don't know. Bro, it looks like he drowned. Fun. Limousine interior. All right, so this one's just an Easter egg by Google, I'm assuming, but you can actually enter these vehicles. So if we click on the limousine right here, well, we can see the interior and it looks it's pretty nice. Hey, what? I love the leather seats. We can get into this van as well. This van, this van looks pretty pimpy. Is that a word? Pimpy? This, <laughs> this van looks really, really nice. And uh, hey, just a little cool Easter egg. <laughs> we can get inside of a vehicle and just check it out. That's actually pretty cool. Lunique 9. Lunique. Slovakia. Lunique 9 Lunique. is a community in Slovakia with about 6,500 people living in it. Unemployment rates are at 90% and poverty and disease is extremely high. Homes oh do not have heat, water, or gas. So this location was used back in the 1960s as a base. Wait, wait, wait. They're not. Are these buildings like, are people living in these? water or gas so this location was used back in the 1960s as a base for soldiers and police officers but as time went on low-income families started taking over the average lifespan in lunique 9 is 22 years old visiting oh, it on google wow. maps we can see the extreme levels of trash on the ground how old the buildings are becoming but the worst part is probably seeing the kids that have nowhere else to go yeah this is definitely the saddest one i would say on this list Oh, that's Island crazy, of bro. Dolls, Mexico. No, a few no. miles from oh the heart God, of Mexico City no. lies La Isla de las Muñecas, which is the Island of Dolls, fuck where thousands no. of dolls hang from trees. The island, located in the Xochimilco canals outside of Mexico's capital, is definitely creepy. According to the local legend, the island's caretaker, Don Julian Santana, moved to the island in the 1950s after abandoning his family. It was in the canals outside nightmare. of the island that he found the dead body of a drowned girl and her doll. Convinced that her spirit haunted the island, Santana hung abandoned dolls he found throughout the canals as a way to appease the dead girl's soul the location is now kind of a touristy area i guess but i don't know how many tourists actually go out of their way to visit this but it's definitely creepy and uh if that legend is true which yeah bro no nah, look at this visit. That is so creepy, man. This, but it's definitely creepy, and uh, I know, that I ain't going is true, which probably not. In the Mexican and like Hispanic community, we have so many 
legends that just weren't they didn't happen like i'm sorry to burst your bubble guys but la llorona was never real or el cucuy as mexicans i think we just like we just have a lot of imagination james is not happening Scarecrow Village, nah, Nagoro, man. Japan. Tsukimi Ayano is the, quote, Scarecrow Mother. She was born in the Nagoro Village, but moved away. When she came back in 2002, she realized that most of the people had left to find work in the city, making her once thriving town feel lonely and empty. Miss Ayano made her first scarecrow to look like her father and used it to protect the fields from crows. She noticed that the neighbors would always say hi to it, and so she began making more and more, eventually filling the village with them. Now there are over 200 scarecrows in this village, making it known as Scarecrow Village. Visiting it on Google Maps, we can see that- Hey, that's not Scarecrow Village. That's- scare the fuck out of me if i go there village bro you're just telling me i go to this village and these are just all around bro ain't no way crows in this village making it known as scarecrow village ain't visiting no it on google maps we can see that uh i don't know if you guys ever watched south park but if <laughs> it's definitely a uh, very interesting if you go on google maps and just take some time to see how many you can count where you can see them, what they're doing. Yes, again, it's a little bit creepy, but hey, let's let Tsukimi Ayano do whatever she wants with her life. I don't know how to end this one off, so uh, let's just... Uh, yeah, that's fine. She can do whatever she wants. Just make sure I never go there, chat. Like, ne never. Slowly fade to black. Hill of Crosses, Lithuania. All right, so when I looked this up, it literally says on Wikipedia that it's unknown. This is unknown how it started, um, but obviously this is religious. It, it has a religious meaning, and it's just a religious location. And are they grave sites? Go on it right now, or actually, I'll show you guys on the screen right now some of it. So, as you can see, it's all crosses. It's all crosses. And the scariest thing is probably, oh my god, oh, what is. Oh my. Fuck. <coughs> <coughs> Fuck it. Bro. Oh my days, bro. Are you taking the piss? Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. <sighs> that scared the shit out of me. That scared the absolute shit out of me, bro. Fuck. <laughs> <coughs> Oh my, I'm dying. Oh my God. Bro, I just didn't expect it to be there. I just didn't expect. Oh my days, man. Yeah, I know it's a normal lady, bro. Like, oh, fuck. That <laughs> <coughs> oh, sh okay. As you can see, it's all <sighs> crosses. It's all crosses. And the scariest thing is probably, oh my God, what is that? Yeah, it's a random woman right oh. there on Google Maps. It, it definitely ruins the vibe. Why, why is there a random woman here? Guys, it looks like she's holding a black Earl bottle. So if you guys want to go, <laughs> if you guys want to go buy that, hey, link in the description. Like I said, that there's not really the much context that I could find, but definitely everyone can tell. This is a location where people most likely go to pray, go ask God for whatever people ask God for. Yeah, let's head on to the next one. Yeah, my heart is racing, Anonymous hack, man. question mark. All right, so this is my favorite one on the list simply because it's so... I've never seen this. I don't know if this is a real hack. I wasn't able to find that much information on it. So when we load it up, we can see the shadow of a man taking the Google images, right? So we usually okay. we see these Google trucks that drive around and take pictures of everything. In right. some cases, we do have people with a 360 camera, such as this case. But someone on the website, I guess, hacked it and made it all anonymous masks. It's that V for Vendetta mask. It's Wait, so interesting what? because anywhere you go on the website, the masks just appear where the person is and other random spots. It is so interesting to me because Wait, if this is a hack, weird. how has Google not done anything about it? And if it's not a hack, then it has to be some sort of Easter egg by Google. It is so interesting and I really love it. And it gets me hyped for the next video coming out, which is the most dangerous computer viruses on the internet. That is weird, bro. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Oh my God, that cross one was horrible. Jesus.